felt hotter than it was in, in Bangladesh. I think a few of the lads were finding it a bit tough uh, first couple of days training, myself included. But um, no, we'll, we'll be ready to go uh, we'll, when the time comes. Yeah, I think it's important to take early wickets wherever you are. I don't think it matters whether you're playing test cricket or T20 cricket or one-day cricket um, or club cricket. Um, you know, it's it's something that we've looked at, um, something that's been strength of mine for a while, and I'm born with a new ball, something I really enjoy. Um, yeah, like I, I love Red Bull cricket. Um, you know, my batting results have been have been pretty poor over the last number of years. Um, but it's nice to be able to sort of reward your hard work with with the like I'm I'm technically able. Um, you know, I'm I'm not scared of anything. So um just spend a bit of time out there and and uh, get into good positions and sort of let the runs come as as they come along. I think the the key to that is the fact that the team culture we have at the minute. Um there's been a lot of ins and outs, both players, staff, um and the culture we've set. And we set that when Heinrich arrived. Um, so everyone buys in, and and that the, it shouldn't change no matter who's who's at, at the helm as such. You know, we've had Gary as a head coach before in the West Indies whenever Rips was out with COVID. Um, he's got a pretty good record, but I think this will put um, let's put the cherry on top if he can get Aaron's first test win. Do you know what the excitement's actually made it a lot easier? Um, I think everyone's really excited about about getting going again and and about. You know, potentially being that team to to get get the first win. Um, you know, everyone's bought in. We haven't exactly had the ideal lead up to um and preparation for a test match, but we you know, we've been out here for a long time. And um, you know, I think I left on the eleventh of March or something. Um, and I have no idea what date it is now. So clearly been here for a while. Um, but yeah, look, it's. It's exciting for us. Sri Lanka are obviously a very good team in goal. They're a very good team anywhere you play them. Um, but especially in goal, they've got a great record here. And, you know, that's something that the players and the coaching staff um, have looked at and, and will continue to look at throughout, throughout the next uh, two tests. Yeah, it's something I love. Like, I always want responsibility. Um, when I'm out there, I feel like it brings, brings the best out of me. Um, you know, whether that's in white ball cricket bowling at the death or, or, um, or red ball cricket trying to, trying to lead an attack. Um, it's I wouldn't say it's it's daunting or anything like that. It's something I'm, you know, incredibly proud to do and, and incredibly excited to do. Um you know test rate is hard. Um it's, it's hard in the body, it's hard mentally because you have to keep coming and coming and coming. Um but that's also the enjoyment of it. Um the enjoyment of getting a wicket in test rate is probably more so than than any other form. Um especially if you've been working hard for over over a number of overs or potentially even a number of hours. Um, so, yeah, like it's it's an absolute delight to be playing test cricket again, and I think everyone's excited about it. Yeah, I think we looked at it pretty realistically. I think, you know, we were disappointed with how the first innings went for us. Um, probably both first innings, if, if we're honest. Um, you know, it, it turned out to be a pretty good batting track um, day one or day two, and we, we didn't really cash in on that. You know, we, we showed a lot of fight and grit. Um, in, in our second innings and I think you know it's it's almost a question of you know do you, if we have a better performance on on day one um, you know how, how does that impact the game moving forward and I think it's just trying to bring that sort of mindset and consistency in, into these next couple of tests um, I don't think we can all afford to look uh, too far forward you know we've got these two tests then we've got a big series against Bangladesh um, and Chelmsford Um and I'm sure once those games are over, we can look forward to it. But um, obviously, it's it having done it myself. It's it's an amazing feeling. It's probably one of my best my best days in cricket um, so far. And you know, I'm sure there's a lot of guys that are are, are new to the test team and um, who haven't played a lot of red ball cricket. It's definitely something for them, which I'm sure they watched. Um, and and so they would love to be part of it. Um, you know, I'd be lying to you if 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 I hadn't thought about it at some stage, but that was long before uh, we arrived in Dhaka. Um, so, the like, test cricket obviously is if you get, you think about the next phase or the, or the next game, there's a lot of cricket to be played in, in between. It's actually a really interesting question because I, I think of that as, from a personal standpoint, being competitive is, is, is all you can ask um, every game. But, 
there there's only so many times you can be a real plucky loser. Um, and I feel like, you know, the team that we have at the minute, if you ask the same question in, in white ball cricket, if we played a white ball series against some of the best teams in the world and we asked the same question, I think we'd be incredibly disappointed if if we were happy just to be competitive. Um, and that's purely based on experience that we have as as a white ball team. So whenever you bring that into a red ball sense, yes, it's great to be competitive. It actually makes it almost more frustrating um, because it sort of highlights the points of the game where where you needed to sort of accept that you potentially were on top um, trying to drive that advantage home or or being able to cope with um, the pressure that we're receiving um, a little bit better. Um, obviously, it's it's never great whenever people at home are, are, are disappointed, but at the same time, I would rather them be disappointed with us losing than than be happy with us being competitive. And and yeah, so that, that's that's my view on it. Um, not really, no. I think you know it's always great to be able to hide behind Josh whenever he's he's running in bowling 140 and 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 taking wickets. But I don't think that changes how how I bowl. Um, you know, I saying you know missing. Arguably, youngy Barry Josh, which has been a core of this team over the last number of years, has given a real opportunity to someone like Hume, who's had an excellent turn in Bangladesh. Um, and although he was wickedless in Dhaka, I think he was still he was still very good. Um, and the probably the only consistency we've had over, over the number of years from the team selection to to this last game would have been me as a, as a as a same and certainly in in seam bowling um, ranks uh, and Curtis as well, but it's just trying to then pass on or trying to lead lead an attack something that I've I, I feel like I've done for for a while. Um, you know that, that doesn't always mean runs and wickets or doesn't always mean wickets. Sorry, um, but just making sure that I'm I'm always available to bowl and if there's hard overs need need bowled. Um, I'm certainly going to stick my hand up and to do them. Yeah, I just don't think we're good enough. I think, you know, I I could put my hand up here and say I probably had one of the worst players around. Um, but that doesn't hide the fact that we still have to be better. Um, you know, I, I do think Hume's been excellent. It's it's refreshing to see new lads come in and and, and make contributions. Like I'm pumped it in in the twenties. I think he's given a little bit of a rude awakening to international cricket um, in Celeb, but. Um, yeah, this is this is the whole point of us. The whole point of us playing these games is so that we can get better. And it doesn't matter if you're twenty or thirty; you're you're trying to get better. And you know it'll it'll stand it'll stand humph in good stead. It'll stand uh, failing in, in in good stead as well moving forward. Because you know there's going to be times where where bowlers get injured or bowlers are unavailable, um, and it's about being the next man up and making sure that you're just as equipped. As the next guy to to perform and and to do a role for the team, and I think that's the whole point of having squad depth is something we haven't had over 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 a number of years. And you know, moving into the last sort of eighteen months, we we've we have done that. Um. So yeah, look, it's it's been it's been it's been a positive. It's obviously a positive wrapped in a negative, but um, you said to dig deep enough to try and find it. Um. Yeah, Josh will probably watch more cricket than me. Um. But when it comes to um the analysis and stuff i think it's something that i actually asked i think it was my second game and i asked the batters uh being balbo and sterlo was one of the opening batters right or left handed um and sterlo took me for breakfast the next day and just let me know that that was unacceptable in in uh, a matter of words um and the more I reflected on it, I could definitely understand why. It's um, it's my job to to be opening the ball and to be know know where I want the ball, know where the batters want to score. And I think you know the, the amount of footage we have available to us is excellent. And yeah, I'd probably annoy Scotty a, a little bit too much, um, but that's his job, and he he can deal with that. That's if they choose to give me a rest, they choose to give me a rest. I'll I'll be available for for both games. Um, you know, it's something. We don't play an awful lot of test cricket, and so you can bowl through if you ate some pains um, if the time comes. The thing about being away here is that the overloads um, 
when I say overload, I mean the amount of overs you bowl are actually not that much. It's just the fact that you know, bowling long spells is, is difficult because of the heat and because of the humidity. Um, so like your, your numbers when it comes to your overs aren't actually that high. And um, so it's, it's not it's not the worst. Um, it's obviously hard because of the heat. But um, yeah, I'll, I'm excited to be here. I'm happy to be here. Um, not sure if my other half feels the same way. But um, yeah, that's that's part of the job. Yeah, look, I think we we look at that. I think that's, again, Scotty Irvine's job as, as analysts to really look into things. But the conversation between the support staff and, and, and the coaching staff, um, you know, is excellent. And so they, they relay that information on to us. Not everyone chooses to do anything with it. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll be aware of, of how the games have gone and average first team scores and then, you know, uh, highest chases on in the last innings, all, all that sort of stuff. We'll, we'll be aware of it and we'll be uh, implementing that in the long term.